four brand new A4 Airport airports in one review. Now, if that is not a video worth watching, I don't know what is. Hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a look at four brand new airports from A4 Airport. And not just in scale 500 like these two, but also two in scale 400, which I'm really excited about because so far we haven't really covered much scale 400 on this channel. Now, let me remind you just before we dive into each individual set that you right now can get these airport setups with a 15% discount if you use the code Bongo planes. And just a very quick disclaimer before we start the review here, A4 Airport has sent me pre-production setups. So these are kind of sample models of the setups. So there might be small imperfections here and there, but they have promised me that before they send them out to customers, all these issues will have been solved. So welcome to the Scandinavian Mountains Airport. As mentioned, this is a refurbished set and that means they have been reworking a lot of details to make it even more realistic. It is of course part of the Real Airport series. So the airport as you see it here does exist in real life. As always, you get the base plates and buildings. The base plates already have the grass attached, which is very nice. One thing I would recommend you doing before you set everything up is to take the base plates and just quickly hoover or vacuum clean the grass bar parts because there, there will always be some excess small uh, uh, hairs that just get everywhere. And if you just quickly one time uh, uh, vacuum clean that, uh, you will get rid of that and then it will be good to go. The buildings themselves on this set are of course fairly simple, which is nice for any beginner, um, but they do look great. As always, we have a really lovely print quality. And what I really like here is when you look at this building here, that's actually two different buildings. I mean, it's one building in real life, but you build it as two. So if we just take it apart here, um, you can then put it back together. But what I really like here is how neatly the print actually matches up on each side, which I think is a great example of the, the really high print quality they have and how much attention to detail they put into the prints to make sure that everything fits well together. And with that, welcome to the brand new airport in the Real Airport series, which is Porto Santo, which is a neighboring island to Madeira, just so you know where it is placed. And this is really an ideal set for anyone who likes small island airports. And they have really, again, paid lots of attention to detail. You have the air side and the land side, really nicely detailed. You have some lovely buildings, actually even like a little uh, spotting terrace. So that's really cool. They have recreated um, all airport buildings from the real airport in this set. And of course you have the airfield where you can place your models very nicely. Now I've always said that I really like the print quality of A4 Airport and it's the same thing with this set. But there's one thing that I've never been entirely convinced about in the past when it came to A4 Airport and that were the print on the airfield of the concrete slats. Um, I didn't quite like the look of those but this is something they have been working on and they have improved on quite a bit in my opinion. This looks much more realistic than we have seen in the past. Now is it perfect? Perhaps not quite yet but it is now I think in the territory where it's a question of personal taste but before it maybe wasn't quite realistic. This is much much more realistic than we've ever seen before from A4 Airport. Now with these buildings there are some that obviously are easier than others, but overall this is still a set that pretty much every beginner should be able to master and get a fairly decent, if not a very decent result out of. So again, a very nice set. And I really like that they have these small airports. I mean, if you know my channel, you know that I like small regional airports and these real airport series focusing on small airports. I mean, that's just what I love. 
And now welcome to Paderborn Airport, a little regional airport in Germany. But we haven't just moved location, no, we have also moved scale. The real airport series comes in scale 500, scale 400 and scale 200, which is really nice. So there's one airport for every collector. And this is one of the refurbished uh, series or one of the refurbished uh, airport setups. So they have reworked the entire thing to make it look even more realistic. Now, one thing I really like about this setup is, of course, that you don't just get a, a small regional airport, but you have a regional airport with jet bridges. And the really cool thing here is that you can actually build these jet bridges yourself. Because in the past, A4 Airport relied on jet bridges from Harper Wings, but that meant that collectors that bought these sets were dependent on the availability of these jet bridges from Harper Wings. Now that is not the case because you get the jet bridges with your set, so you will always have them. And of course, that is definitely not the easiest part to build yourself, but with a little bit of training and looking at some of the videos that A4 Airport has on their YouTube channel, which explain you how you can build these different things, I'm sure you will manage. Just like with the scale 500 sets we have seen so far, also here you get these really lovely sheets um, that are shaped in the A4 format. And of course you have the magnet system that A4 Airport uses. So you have these plates that they uh, stay in place. And that is a really lovely system. I have talked about it in previous videos and I really do like that. It's a nice system. And the great thing here is actually they have improved on the system. In the past, you got magnets now, they're always plus or minus poles, but you didn't know which was what. And in this case, what A4 Airport has done, they have not just, well, looked at the videos we have done in the past, but they have listened to some of the critique we had. So if I just take this apart, what you will notice here, you have some magnets that are square and some that are round. And that gives you an indication what is what. And that makes it much easier when you have sets and put them together because you have a visual indication of what magnets you are working with. That is a great improvement. So we have moved location once more, this time to the German North Sea island of Sylt. There is a little airport there and A4 Airport has recreated it. Actually, not the first time, because this is also one of the sets that they have refurbished, so to say. So they have once again taken a deep dive into this design and reworked it to make it even more realistic. This is by far the smallest setup they've sent me this time, but in my opinion also the cutest. And of course it gives me the opportunity to actually feature my one and only Scale 400 aircraft model, which I've never shown on my channel so far, so uh, that is great. When it comes to the setup, I mean, you can have two base plates with the grass already cut and added to them, so that's great. You have space for three aircraft and you have one terminal building, which overall is fairly simple to build. I would say the only maybe a little bit tricky part is the control tower, but again, with, I mean, once you've completed the building, you already understand basic, the basics of how to assemble these buildings. And A4 Airport has some nice videos on their YouTube channel which show you the assemble process. So I think everyone should be able to get a really decent result with that as well. Of course, as this is a real airport series, we can also again see a different design here on the airfield. We again have some concrete slats, but they do look different from what we've seen with some of the other airport setups. I mean, fairly logic given that this is a recreation of real airports. So, four brilliant setups that we have here, but there are a few more coming. They're right now working on a rework of Cologne Bonn, and they're also working on Innsbruck, and uh, they might already be out when this video is coming out, so do check their website, um, and if they're not there yet, they will be there very shortly. And of course, remember, these setups exist in scale 500, 400, and 200, and if you use the code BONGOPLANES, you can get a 15% discount right now. Now, which one of these setups is your favorite one? Let me know in the comment section below. And with that, we have reached the end of today's episode of Review. If you have enjoyed it, then feel free to leave a like. That would be very much appreciated. And of course, if you are new around here, you're always welcome to hit subscribe. With that, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.